space dogs. Oh. It's party time! Yay! <laughs> oh. I guess we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna do this one, one more time. Um, hey, hey dad. <laughs> How you doing? Um, ooh. I, uh, for those of you who were here yesterday and I did the, uh, the stream with, uh, with Ace, um, I, like, tore down a bunch of stuff and, ooh, hold on one second. There we go. That's a little better. Um, <laughs> I like moved around as little as few things as possible to try and uh, and um, and get that stream done and I uh, and and then I tried to move them back to do this one and I had thought about setting this for 2:30 and I'm glad I didn't because I definitely went all the way right up into right up to three trying to put everything back the way it was so that I could uh, get this one. <laughs> this one back or this one more stream out um properly in fact uh i was actually adjusting the camera still when i um like during the intro while the intro was playing because i i looked at it and um everything it was it was really weird actually because like on the the main um the main camera the one i'm in hello um <laughs> But uh, it looked kind of gray, just a little, little darker than I remember, and, and just not very, uh, not very vibrant, and and just off. And I couldn't figure out what was going on. Um, and I was playing with the settings, you know, all the way up until three o'clock. And then I was like, well, I guess uh, it's it's just gonna be this way. And um, I I went ahead and started the stream. But then I realized um, while the the intro was playing, I was like, um, "Okay, let me go look one more time." And I I, I walked over there, and um, I uh, I realized there. So there's uh, there's uh, switches on on the top of the camera on both sides. One of them is the um, what do you call it? Uh, one of them selects between like off is in the middle and then um, camera uh, is toward the front of the camera uh, and then playback is toward the back of the camera and then the other side is another switch that's just like it um, and I don't know I, I don't remember off the top of my head what all this the uh, controls are but apparently the middle the middle of that switch was uh, is uh, manual controls, which is what I normally have it set in, and so all of my manual controls were uh, all of my manual settings uh, should have been in place, but it had gotten switched to something else, which apparently takes over and tries to set things in a way that does something else, <laughs> and I think. When I, in the process of moving the camera back to, uh, back to this position, because um, uh, for yesterday I had moved it, oh I don't know, like four feet uh, in the other direction and pointing the other way and all this other stuff. Um, basically, I moved yesterday. I moved it as far as the uh, as the cable would allow because I didn't move any of the uh, the PC setup or anything like that. So the camera was actually even farther away than than it normally is from the uh, from the PC. But uh, anyway, um, <laughs> I know this is getting really long winded, but you know, you all know how I am. <laughs> it's just the way it goes. Anyway. Um, I, uh, I guess when I put it all back, I flipped the wrong switch uh, trying to turn the camera on uh, before the stream, and so I had ended up putting it in in whatever that like automatic mode was instead of 
uh, instead of manual, and, and that's uh, where it was. And and now, like I said, I, I flipped the switch during during the intro, and, and looking at it, everything, yeah, everything looks looks normal again. That's so that's good. Um, it's uh it's kind of funny. I I normally I don't normally wear like uh, white shirts. Um, on well, I certainly don't wear them on stream very often, but I, I really don't wear them that often in general. Uh, and actually, under the uh, the automatic settings or whatever the other settings were, um, it was bringing out the uh, the the purple color of the of the black lights um, more. And I'm kind of curious, real quick. Let me let me see what happens if I. I probably can't. Yeah, you can especially see it like when I get out out of the uh, out of the lights. Um, you can you can see the uh, the black light effect. But if I turn all of these off, it should. Ooh, that's kind of exciting. The black lights um, don't actually come all the way back into this area as as far. Um, I, I brought them. I brought them to about. Well, you can't see. I bought brought them to about I don't know three or four feet behind these machines because if I brought them any closer, they created a glare on the on the screens that I didn't like. So, um, and I didn't think it was super necessary to have um, <laughs> too much glow back here. I guess I could put one behind the screens if I really wanted to. But, uh, eh, I'll think about it. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to see what this looked like. I'm gonna go turn the regular lights back on. <laughs> one second. Okay, so um, the Rat Hatter. Uh, yes, this is the original monitor for my for my uh, cabinet. This is an SX version two, though. So this is the uh, the the Cortec. Um, what is it? KT twenty nine fourteen DF. I think this is one of those rare occasions where I might actually remember um, some random uh, model number. <laughs> Only because there's this very weird history about this particular monitor. Uh, short version of the story is that um, it started to uh, uh, horizontally collapse and uh, I eventually sent the, the chassis board out for repair and then the person that I sent it to, like, vanished off the face of the earth. Um, and neither I nor anyone else has heard from him in, in years. And so I just considered that chassis lost. So I had to get a new chassis for the monitor uh, and, uh, and then get it uh, modified to t kind of, you know, tune it for this tube. And um, here it is. <laughs> but yes, otherwise, it is the original. It is the original monitor that went with this cabinet. Um, all right, so uh, I'm looking at the um, I'm looking at the audio here, and I feel like I'm a little I may be a little louder than usual. I can't quite tell, but um, let me know if it's sounding weird or anything like that. I, I definitely um, uh, 
uh, I had to change the settings uh, for the stream yesterday, and I thought I had changed them all back, although at the very beginning of the stream, you may have noticed um, the balance was a little bit off, uh, and I fixed that one thing. So I, I believe I have all of the settings. Uh... Yes. I believe I have all of the settings back to the way they were <laughs> before. Um, but if it, if it sounds weird, just let me know. Uh, I, I'm just worried a little tiny bit because I feel like I'm, I'm peaking a little bit higher than, than I'm used to. But I, I, that could just be... That just could be bad memory. <laughs> bad memory in my brain, not in the PC. But um, anyway... Um, I got through basically uh, the whole, I, I got through what I had intended to um, on New Year's Eve actually. Uh, I had finished up playing all of the new songs in uh, Prime 2, so um, I had completed my, my mission uh, that began in May of last year um, with uh, First Dance Floor uh, and then working my way uh, one by one, all the way through the series until I got to Prime 2. Um, and I don't remember when I decided uh, in that series, but at some point I was like, I might as well just play all of the new songs in each game. And so that's what I'd been doing. But of course, in the last few games, um, since they were much longer lived um, uh, games, you know, they were out for years as opposed to months um, back in the beginning. Uh, they had a lot more uh, new content, and so it took two, three, even four streams to get through everything. But uh, on, on New Year's Eve, I finally did. Um, and, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I, so, interestingly, I actually, Bit Decay, I actually have contacted Andamiro, but I've gotten no response. So, that's cool. Um, <laughs> but uh, I do not yet have the ability to play Double X. In fact, I don't even have uh, Double X the game. Um, but uh, we are still working on being able to uh, convert the, uh, the HD um, video signal to something that this monitor can display. Uh, so if we get that done, uh, then we should be able to, uh, to play Double X and, and hopefully future games as well um, and so probably what's gonna happen is since they've announced that we should be getting a new game uh, this year um, once that comes out uh, I may uh, try and pick up a, a used double X kit um, and try and pick up the new game if I can and uh, and uh, and and uh, and there we go. Um, but um, yeah, Daniel, it, it's not quite as simple as a as a crop, uh, only in that um, the the resolution itself is too high. Um, I'm not a hundred percent. Yeah, I mean, you're right. The gameplay elements don't extend past 4.3. Uh, DDR does the exact same thing. In fact, that's something that I've complained about on on previous streams, is that while uh, pump cabinets went to a 16x9 monitor, a widescreen monitor, um, with the, the FX cabinet, and, like, you know, NX2-ish, somewhere in there, they did not actually adopt a true widescreen uh, version of the game until, I believe, Prime. So we finished out the NX era and went all the way through the Fiesta era with cabinets playing the 4x3 game stretched to 16x9, which was garbo, um, especially, in my opinion, on the TX cabinets, because when you get into uh, doubles play, um, the, the scroll, the width of the scroll is basically the width of the 4x3 uh, frame area. 
Um, and what was happening was it was taking that and stretching it all the way out to the width of the 16 by 9 area. And on those gigantic 55 inch screens, um, it actually, uh, unless the stage was very, very far back from the, um, from the cabinet, it was actually difficult to read the scroll being that wide. You almost had to, you couldn't see it like in your peripheral vision. You kind of had to like turn your head in weird ways to, to, to get, take it all in. Um, and uh, it was, it was bad news. Um, and so in the true 16 by nine uh, versions of the game, they do, you're, you're exactly right. They keep all of the gameplay elements within the four by three frame, which makes everything, you know, the it's proper original scale um, and, and keeps that scroll looking nice. Um, and um, since I play doubles um, predominantly, I mean, it was just, it was just awful. <laughs> um, I don't know, that also, that was also around the time that I started like dropping off playing uh, Pump as much. Uh, I don't know if that was related or just coincidental. I think probably coincidental, but uh, thankfully once we got to Prime, they, they got it, they got it right. Um, I don't remember if Pro 1 did, Pro 2 I believe did, and um, Infinity definitely did get it correct um, and, and had um, proper uh, 16 by 9 support. Um, but and, and that brings me to the the, the last of my um, uh, bit or my uh, like intro here, which is um, I did not play Pro One or Pro Two um, during this series. Um, I I don't have a button board. Um, yeah, I think Pro One did also. I just don't remember Bit Decay. Um, I played very little of Pro One. Um, I played a a fair amount of Pro 2 since they had it at the uh, Dave Busters near me, but um, I'm trying to even remember where I played Pro 1. It might have been at Dave Busters. They may have had it there originally and then upgraded. But, um... Anyway, uh, so you're you're right, though, to, to, to finish up, Daniel, um, you, you are correct that I could crop it to 4-3, and that may be something that I do, uh, but the other thing that we can actually do is if we um, if we rescan it uh, to to get the just to get the uh, the image, you know, to basically what we're going to do is we're probably going to convert the um, uh, convert the game down to a resolution that the um, the monitor can display, but we may crush it horizontally. Um, to fit in the 4x3 um, shape of the tube. But then what we can do is uh, set the geometry of the monitor to crush it down vertically to give us a widescreen um, look. Yes, exactly. Uh, to letterbox it, essentially. Uh, the result is going to be that it will be kind of a smaller image on here, but everything should be correct at least um, and and work um, and uh, as far as the um, as far as the stream itself is concerned you know I'll, I can reformat the uh, the window to be the proper shape and everything and it, it won't be a big deal but um, anyway that will be a project for hopefully later this year because I am um, I'm, I am going to make this the final uh, pump stream, at least for now. After this uh, stream is over, I'm going to start tearing down this setup and, and get ready for, um, for the, the next event, which should be UB, although I might slip something else in there in, in between, um, just as kind of a one-off for fun, but we'll see. Just stand by. Um, <laughs> pump it up three, the final. Um, yeah, kind of. <laughs> um, but uh, on the last stream, I, like I said, I got through all of the um, all of the new songs in Prime Two. Uh, it actually took a little longer than I was expecting 
it to. Uh, so I, uh, I, I think I went a little bit over on time. Plus, I was just like tired, and I, I like I did everything wrong on that stream. I'd eaten too, I'd eaten too much too soon or too close to the start time, and I was just feeling kind of, <laughs> um, So I, I, when I got to the last song, I just kind of called it. And uh, I didn't do any requests like I usually do. So I figured I'd come back um, and do one more stream while everything's still set up, or mostly set up anyway. And uh, we'll just do uh, all requests today. Um, and uh, if there's um, anything that you want to see, uh, just throw it out there. Um, obviously, something that is in Prime 2. <laughs> Uh, if it's not, then I'm, I'll have to politely, uh, politely take a pass on it. But um, I don't. Um, I to I toyed with the idea of switching games uh, during the stream, but I decided that that was probably just going to be too much of a hassle, and I don't feel like doing it. So we're just gonna um, we're just gonna stick to Prime Two. Um, I'll be taking your requests. Um, go ahead and open them now. If you have anything, let me know, and I'll start uh, taking them down. Um, and uh, if you all are, um, are are slow or don't have any ideas, um, I guess I get to request songs too. Um, <laughs> so um, there you have it. Mm. But it's been it's been a lot of it's been a lot of fun um, playing uh, playing through all of Pump. Oh yeah, last last bit um, uh, of the of all of that opening business is you know once we kind of once I get things squared away hopefully with um, uh, being able to convert the video um, I'll take a look at um, uh, perhaps trying to uh, rig up some kind of a uh, uh, rig up some kind of a button box uh, to be able to play pro and pro and pro 2 uh, and then we can play those in HD for fun because we can. Uh, and uh, uh, Termazi was talking about um, <laughs> about getting me to play Pump Jump, um, which also requires a button bar. Um, <laughs> obviously, we would be playing it on the uh, on you know the the normal stage and not on a jump cabinet, um, but. You know, if we can make that work, that'll be fun. Uh, and then Double X and whatever the hell 2023 is called. So uh, I imagine sometime later this year we'll have um, potentially up to five additional pump games that we can go through to uh, add to this series. Um, and, uh, and, and then at that point, I guess I can say that I've played all of Pump It Up. You know, achievement unlocked or something like that. I hundred percent at the game. Not, not really. But um, <laughs> um, all right. Let's see. We got a few requests. I guess I need to start a a naughty pad document. Uh, Death Moon. A single six. All right. You're, you're letting me uh, you're, you're letting me start with with um, with a nice warm up. That'll be that'll be a pleasant surprise. I don't think I pushed the center's panel. <laughs> I'm not sure why the game started. Maybe I did and I just didn't notice. But... Oh yeah, 
if you can, uh, if you can give me a hint on what uh, category each of these songs that you request is in, or what game, what version it comes from, that would be super, super um, helpful. Difficulty zone, difficulty zone, series. The perfect selection. I think Deathman was in here, isn't it? Isn't it like. Pump 2, or Prime 2. And then, uh, Glitch, where is Crossover? Good for me though to get started a little bit slow, get my feet warmed up. Like literally, they're actually cold. Okay, yours is Prime 2 also? Cool.
Yay, Pump Pulse! I didn't pick the 11 on accident. That was that was on purpose. Wow, I didn't pick. The, I picked the 11 because the alternative would have been a double what, like 14 or something like that. And I was like, nah, that's too much. Yeah, that was a good solid one. I like that. That was pretty fun. Yeah. The double 14. Wasn't ready for that. The 11 seemed doable. Thanks. Yeah, 11 should be in my range. 11s and 12s are usually in my range. 13s are usually fine. 14s are when it gets real, real dicey for me. <laughs> All right, um, I did not see a third, a third choice, so I guess that means I get to pick something. Extra depressed three. So I'm just gonna chill out over here. Oh, one of my classic favorites. one of those it's not super hard but it's just hard enough that like when you get it down it's so satisfying it's the turns they all work but if you miss one you're in a world of hurt trying to catch back up. Heck yeah. So Daniel, you're saying you can do up to 11s. Yeah, you're you're definitely getting up into some pretty fun territory. And then Glitch, you said you're up to 13s. I don't know. So to me, um, once you get past. Once you get past the 13th, it starts getting into like the real stamina busting territory. And I just don't, I just don't have it in me anymore. <laughs> um, I'd have to work my way back up to that if, if at all. 
and uh, it, it just it, it's too even if I can read it and I think I can probably most of the time you know like the 14 15 16 era or area I can read it and I know how to do it and I could like do in isolation I could probably do all the different parts is just trying to string them all together over the course of minute and a half two minutes I just I just run out of gas I just cannot do it and um, uh, and it just gets too it gets too tiring and it's and it starts being not fun and more painful <laughs> so so I'm very very content um, even though I feel like I, I peaked at the you know 13 14 level years ago and I I'm I'm content just staying there indefinitely. I, I don't really see myself going um, a whole lot farther than that. <laughs> um, yeah, Luna, we already we already got a beat mania the final uh, reference um, earlier in the stream. But yep, this is this is it. This will be the this is the like I was saying. This will be the last pump stream for a while. I I have a feeling. I'm pretty sure I'll come back to it, um, and probably even this year, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know when, uh, and a lot of it is is dependent on factors that are outside of my outside of my control anyway. Um, and then I saw a request in there for for Boombaya full. All right. I don't know if I played the full. I probably have. I just don't remember. And then up and down full. All right. Okay. We're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna real. We're gonna really wake up uh, content ideas. We're not just gonna play K-pop. We're gonna play full versions of K-pop. <laughs> Or did they put it in, or is it in part two? A 17 and an 18? Or the 10? Is that... So... Are they rating that up because it's a full version? Or is that literally like... Uh, 17 level steps for a full, you know, three and a half minutes? Because that's just rude.
looks pretty much like a 10 to me. Maybe a little bit less lower. So I'm worried that, that, the, that those higher ones are like, you know, three and a half minutes, 17, which is crazy. Nightmare. So I have not had to, um, you think it's a 1415 rated up? Okay. Still, that's yeah, rough. I knew you could do it. To go well, three and a half minutes or so better. at 1415 level. Especially when like my weakness is stamina. <laughs> So I have not had to blur any of the um, of the pump videos to get them unblocked yet in this entire series since May. Uh, but uh, I I have I have a bad feeling I'm going to end up having to do one um, here just because it's um because that since that was literally the whole video. Okay, I can't do two, um, I can't do two fulls in the same, in a single, uh, game, apparently. So, uh, I'm gonna, um, what am I gonna pick? Something else. K-pop.
that uh, speed was a little bit more than I uh, <laughs> probably should have had for that song, but oh well. <laughs> I definitely have gone and bought uh, bought music that I heard in in, uh, in games. Usually on like real ass CD too. <laughs> Okay. So then we were up to up and down full. so hard I was you know if it was another like 16 17 I would have tried it but that's that's too scary <laughs> too scary for me Don't call. 
up and up. Okay. Yeah, We've gone up and down, so now up and up, I guess. Get up and go. Just feeling good enough, I guess. Felt like it was gonna keep going, but it didn't. <laughs> can, can my legs keep pumping it up? So far, so good, but man. Ask me again in like hour two of the stream, and I'll be like, oh. The thing I've noticed about streaming, I mean, obviously I stop and, uh, and, and chit chat for a while, oftentimes a long while. Right. Um, but, uh, but in general, uh, on these streams, you know, even though back in the day I would go and, you know, go to the arcade and play pump or DDR for, you know, six, even eight hours, you know, just spend the whole day there basically. But you know, usually there were other people there, and so it was. It would be very rare for me to get to play two games in a row. Um, usually, it was like I'd play, and then you know I'd have to sit down or go do something else for at least 15 minutes, if not, you know, even sometimes 30, 40, even a whole hour. Back when it was really, really super popular, um, you know, just to give other people a chance to play. Uh, but you know, when I'm doing these streams, oftentimes it'll be two, three, four, six games in a row. <laughs> or um, there have been a few streams where I didn't really stop to talk very much and I just played, you know, two and a half out of the three hours or whatever. And it's like, whew, that's, that's hard. It's actually really hard. At least it is for me. 
maybe all maybe you all are younger and healthier than I am, but that's uh that's asking a lot of these old bones. Regen when you go, nobody else is playing it. Yeah, nowadays it's it's a lot easier to get two two games in a row or three games in a row. But I mean, when I first started playing DDR, you know, like at the beginning of 2001, um, even uh, in that spring and especially into the summer of 2001, you know, we were meeting up at GameWorks basically every Ten Buck Tuesday, um, and dang, you know, there would be 30 plus of us that would show up like every Tuesday and now most people played you know versus so two two people at a time for a game um, and games were a lot shorter back then too because you know it was only three songs and the songs were usually like a minute and a half tops um, and especially before we got third mix there and we only had DDR USA there's only 26 songs the menu timers are real short and because there aren't that many songs to sort through anyway, right? Um, so, you know, you could knock out a game in probably seven or eight minutes, six, six to eight minutes. Um, but still, you know, if there's 30 people ahead of you, that's 15 games, you know. <laughs> uh, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a while before you're gonna get back on the machine right um, and then there were a few of us that did like to play doubles um, I think it was me and maybe two other people that, that liked to play doubles um, most people didn't back then though so uh, but of course you know we uh, gummed it up for everybody <laughs> I guess <laughs> made it take a little bit longer But, um, uh, anyway, uh, let's see. <laughs> How many, Daniel, was that, was that calories? Was that a reference to a uh, pump, uh, misspelling calorie for literally forever? It's, it's right in this one, isn't it? Or is it still wrong in Prime 2 even? I wasn't paying enough attention. I'm just so used to it being wrong that I don't even notice anymore. You feel like some people are scared to play next to you so they just walk away when you're near the machine so you get longer to play? I, I usually, so I'm with you, Daniel, like, when I get to the end of a round, uh, if there's anybody, if there's anybody standing around, I l usually will, like, make eye contact with them and gesture to them, like, would you like to play? Please do, you know? Um, and, um, yeah, a lot of times it happens like glitched and they're like, oh no, I'm fine, you know, we're just watching or they walk away or whatever. Um, and then, you know, about half the time they're like, okay, you know, and they'll get up and play. And, and then I'll just, you know, sit down, take a break, and come back after they're done. So, but, uh, yeah, yeah, Regent, I know that the, I mean, the games just aren't as, they, <laughs> it's not like the early 2000s anymore, you know, um, if you have to wait. Um, more than, if you have to wait more than two games ahead of you for, to get a chance to play, um, play a game, it's quite unusual these days. The only times I've ever really seen, um, larger crowds than that, um, are usually like at anime conventions in the game room. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it, it's pretty rare to see a line, um, for, uh, to get to play these days. But, 
you know, I'm sure, I'm sure it still happens occasionally, uh, you know, when kids are out of school and, and uh, it's, it's raining outside or something like that, right? And it's just busy. And Daniel, you said, wasn't doubles two credits to play back in, back in the day? Yes, it was, in fact, uh, two credits to play. However, um, I was saying uh, I usually went, back in those very early days, I went on 10 Buck Tuesdays, um, which was a promotion that GameWorks did uh, back then, where on Tuesday, um, the times varied. It used to be like three to close, and then I think at some point they just made it like all day Tuesday, but you would pay $10 to get in. Um, and they would just give you an unlimited card. And so you would just play um, play all you wanted uh, for uh, while you were there. Uh, the, um... oh, that's right. I remember. I, I remember back in the, back in the old, so this is old story, right? Um, uh, well, first of all, let me, let me show you something. Uh, it should be over here. So, I remember back in the in the old old days, um, they uh, well. So let me let me share this with you. This is a um, if I can get it up into the camera here. Uh, this is always so hard. So this is a game card from when uh, that opened as Sega City. So this would have been back in the '90s. When it was Sega City, and then eventually it turned into uh, GameWorks Studio, which uh, my understanding was um, you're probably familiar with GameWorks, um, but you're like, what's GameWorks Studio? Uh, so my understanding was GameWorks Studio was basically GameWorks except without the restaurant and bar, um, you know, so without the thing that actually makes money. <laughs> So our poor GameWorks studio, uh, it had a game room the size of a normal GameWorks, uh, but no restaurant or bar to uh, like as a profit center, and they gave them like a smaller budget. So like they were always fighting uh, to keep games up and running because they just didn't have enough money to do it um, because they weren't making the the the. The big bucks, you know, selling. What? I'm trying to. I'm trying to like put myself back. I was gonna say fifteen dollar burgers, but back then it wouldn't have been. It would have been like an eight dollar burger, right? You know, eight dollar burgers and eight and six dollar beers or whatever. Um, and uh, so uh, it was. It was real rough for them. They did a. They they tended to do a pretty good job, um, as as well as they could have, I guess. Uh, but I just I knew a few people that worked there and they were always just running into, you know, basically budget um, budget issues because they they um, they had the they had similar expenses to a full blown game works with, um, you know, less than half the revenue. And I don't know what their budget was compared to um, uh, to the full blown uh, GameWorks locations, but my understanding was it was substantially less, so it was a real bummer for them. But anyway, uh, I can remember back when they first started the uh, the Ten Buck Tuesday uh, promotion. Uh, they, I think, it started at like three o'clock in the afternoon or six o'clock in the afternoon, something like that. And the reason was is because they actually had to close the arcade for a, f you know, for like half an hour. And then go around and turn switch all the games on to free play, and then they would open up, and then they would just you know charge you admission to get in. But uh, then later on, they upgraded their card system so that rather than having to set the games to free play, 
they could actually just, um, you know, program the card to be like, uh, you know, these, these games are unlimited play for this amount of time. And that was determined by the card. So when you would card in, they didn't have to touch the game. You would just card in on the, on the game and it would, um, you know, it would give the game a credit like normal. So the game didn't have to know or care. It was up to the card system to, to realize, oh, I'm not actually charging you money. I'm just going to give you a game. And so, you know, they would, they would sell, they would basically, when you checked in, you would, they would sell you a timed card that was good until like nine o'clock that night when they closed. Um, and only good on the video games. It wasn't good on any of the redemption games. They obviously didn't want you to be able to earn tickets for nothing. <laughs> so, um, but for whatever reason, they did not, uh, uh, they didn't reuse cards. So every Tuesday that I went, I would pay my $10 and they would hand me a new card. And so I've got this, this, uh, <laughs> this stack of cards. Most, almost all of these are from, uh, from 10 buck Tuesday, but I mean, there's probably, I don't know, a hundred cards here. Some stupid number of cards. Maybe, I, maybe it's not a hundred. Maybe it's, even if it's 50, you know, it, it probably is. I, I would, I would guess that this is a stack of, um, 60 ish cards. Uh, cause I definitely went to 10 buck Tuesday almost every week in, in 2001. So that would have been, you know, 52 weeks. And then 2002 and three, I think I went frequently, probably not every week, but, but pretty, pretty close. Um, before I, you know, really dropped off and started going other places, um, as more places started to get DDR. But, uh, yeah, so they just kept giving me new cards. Um, so yeah, cards. <laughs> But, uh, and then, um, here's another little relic for you. Is the stream glitching? I don't know. My dad's asking if the stream is glitching. Is anybody else having any problems? I don't see any, uh, I don't see any warnings or anything on my end. I can, I can check real quick. Glitch says no. Yeah, I just brought up the stream on on my computer. It looks okay, so I don't know. Sounds like it's you. T <laughs> Sounds like it's you, Dad. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know who you have to blame. Spectrum, right? <laughs> but um, here, here's a relic. I, I don't actually remember the full uh, story with this, but uh, we uh, had... God, why is this so hard? This was later. This was later in the... Uh, in history, where our game works printed up these cards for us. What it, what does it say on the back? It says uh, benefits include uh, double gameplay on the purchase of any cash card. Oh, nice! Five dollars off the entry into GameWorks sponsored DDR tournaments. Seventy-five cent plays on any GameWorks DDR machine. Oh wow, that was cheap. Uh, special Red Octane Rental Program discounts. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, yeah. So, um, there's no date on this, unfortunately. But, um, but that was a thing. <laughs> Do I have any pizza keg tokens? I, if I do, I don't know about them. I also don't recall if pizza keg had, um, had, uh, their own tokens. 
like if if they had like tokens that actually said pizza keg on them or if they just had like kind of the generic you know like no cash value token with the eagle on it or whatever i don't really remember um I don't remember what their tokens look like. Um, so, <laughs> your ISP has four milliseconds la latency. Yeah, well, four milliseconds latency doesn't help if you're only getting, you know, 10 megabits a second. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, 10 megabits a second would probably be enough for this stream <laughs> but um i i don't yeah if i have any pizza cake tokens i don't know about them um i remember i do have some uh, fun factory tokens from uh from hawaii uh when like auntie sandy used to take me to um to uh what do you call to um to the arcade in in Hawaii, uh, the the fun thing about those um, that are um, <laughs> yeah, so my uh, my stream goes out at uh, six thousand kilobits a second, so about six six megabit. Um, only you know, like for Twitch, I used to send higher because YouTube will take higher um, and you know, re-encode it for you and make it work for just about anybody. Uh, but Twitch, I guess, does not do that unless you are, you know, like, um, super whatever, partner, crazy. Unless unless you make the money, basically, right? Um, and so I had to turn the bitrate down. Otherwise, people were getting, you know, uh, getting a really bad performance on, on Twitch. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know that, uh, I don't know the stream, that the stream took a huge quality hit going from, like, 8,000 to 6,000, uh, but, but if it did, blame Twitch. Blame Twitch anyway. I don't actually like Twitch that much. Are you listening? Even though I'm broadcast, I say I'm just gonna get banned right now for, for, uh, talking bad about it, right? <laughs> um... But uh, anyway, I was saying, though, uh, those um, uh, Fun Factory tokens are real unique. In fact, if I can find one real quick, I think they, they're right over here. I hope. All right, so there's a couple of things that are interesting about these. First of all, they're silver rather than bronze, um, but um, if you can see um, at the, I know that's out of focus and I'm sorry, because actually that's a manual focus camera, but um, or I have that camera set to manual focus. At the at the bottom of the God, why is this so hard? Um, okay. at the bottom of the token there, there's two little grooves, and if I flip it over, there's a uh, two other two grooves on the other side as well. Um, and so there were these little like notches on the coin slot two at the top and two at the bottom so you actually had to like orient your token so that the grooves would line up with the notches to to, to put it into the game um i assume that was because those notches would prevent uh, a normal coin a normal flat coin from going in at all so i guess that was 
their way of making sure that you were using their um, their tokens only, um, and that you weren't, you know, using some other uh, some other arcades tokens or whatever. But yeah, the, these are the most unique tokens I think I've ever encountered in all my days of uh, playing video games. What what else is in here? Um, <laughs> oh, so I do have something from that era, um, Dad. I don't think you can read this on the on the camera, but this token says uh, Pin Pan Alley, which I think was on Chauncey Hill? Question mark? Back in the day. Um, oh, here's an old, uh, an old Chuck E. Cheese token. Which is actually weird, because I normally wouldn't have... I, I would have had Showbiz tokens, not Chuck E. Cheese. How about a, a GLPTC uh, bus token? <laughs> or uh, a, a giant uh, coin for a uh, free Sunday at Dairy Queen. Which apparently was worth 40 cents. Wow, that's very old. <laughs> God, there are tokens in here that I don't even know what they're from. Like, I don't... Like this one says Cloverleaf Game Room. I don't even know where that is. If I if I've even been there. Oh yeah, good old putt putt golf golfing games. Classic, classic. A Deutschmark? Well that's random. Um, somewhere I have a bunch of Aladdin's Castle tokens. Anyway, I think I think this is probably a putt putt or not, uh, a pizza keg token. But if you can see it, I mean, it's literally just like it. It's a generic token uh, that you could get in any number of arcades. It has you know like a very American eagle emblem looking thing on it with a bunch of stars and on the back side it just says no cash value like these are kind of dime a dozen this is your standard generic token that if you're an arcade and you want to have tokens you can just order these out of a catalog and they're cheap as hell um or they used to be anyway <laughs> a freedom coin i actually have a there's one over here i saw too that does say freedom on it um Yeah, it's got a big, like, um, eagle atop of a shield, and at the top it says freedom. I know you probably can't see that in the, in the camera, but just take my word for it. It is the most, like, generically, um, like, the most generically American design I can possibly think of, other than, like, just the flag. Which arcade was closest to home? Gosh. Um, I don't remember anymore. Like, Pizza Keg would have been very close. I think there was a... Um, I So, if you recall, back in the... Especially back in the early 80s, right? Like, you... You could not... It was actually hard to avoid video games. 
you know, like every convenience store had them, the laundromat would have them, uh, a lot of restaurants had them. Um, I mean, they were just all over. Um, and then, you know, uh, a lot of strip malls had arcades too. And I think there might have been an arcade in one of those strip malls, like right outside the Payless. Um, that would have been very close to home. That That's a vague memory. I may be making that up, but even if I'm making it up, it's probably true because that's how common arcades were back then. <laughs> um, but Pizza Keg was definitely the place that I remember going to the most. Pizza Keg and then uh, Aladdin's Castle at the mall were the ones that I remember going up, going to as, as a kid um, pretty frequently. Um, probably Putt-Putt, but I don't even remember where Putt-Putt was back then, back there. But anyway... Wow, tangents. <laughs> um, oh, <laughs> and I, I remember, uh, God, how did we get on this? Because, like, I was just like, wow. How, and, like, I'm thinking to myself, how did we get on this? And I remember now, we got on this because um, uh, Daniel was asking, were, was, were doubles two credits back then? And the answer was, yes, unless... In the um, uh, wait, unless in the um, the operator uh, menu, um, you set uh, an option that was called a joint premium, uh, which was actually a little bit wonky because joint premium made either doubles or verses one credit. Um, so a lot of Arcades didn't like to use it because of course if two people were playing they wanted to get both of their both Players money, right? So they didn't like to put it on joint premium very often um, Because you know, even if they wanted to give uh, Even if they wanted to give people the opportunity to play doubles it would pretty much have their revenue for um, For all for the for most versus games, which is predominantly what people would play um so, uh, in the, um, in more recent games, they've changed that to doubles premium. Um, so only doubles are one credit instead of two, um, instead of, um, uh, instead of doubles and, uh, and versus. So that actually gets used a lot now, uh because DDR is a lot cheaper. The, the most I can ever remember paying for a game of DDR, um, especially like back in the in the day, like nowadays, even when I go to play, you know, what is it? You go to Dave and Buster's, right? And it's like six chips. And I'm like, what the hell is six chips? Like, I don't even know what that... And that's on purpose, of course, right? But I, I, don't, I don't even know what six chips um, equates to in like dollars. Um, uh, and of course it varies because sometimes I get a deal and I get, you know, I get chi chips for cheap, chips, chips for cheap. Um, uh, and you know, but like full price, I don't even know. Um, but even if, even a full price, if a chip is, you know, 25 cents a quarter, right? So that would be like a dollar 50 for a game. So, okay, whatever. I can remember one time, I believe it was in 2001, um, that I was at the GameWorks, I think, in Cincinnati, um, and they had a DDR um, machine. I want to say it was Third Mix, but I don't remember for sure. And I believe it was two dollars and fifty cents per play. And I played, I played a double at full price, so five dollars to play that one game <laughs> in two thousand one. Um, so, uh, that, that is the most I can ever remember paying for, uh, for a, for a single game of, of, of DDR. But, um, um, anyway, um, 
Yeah, so my my dad was saying I should tell you how cheap it was at Pizza Keg. So it, this is this would have been back in the days when you know games were generally twenty five cents to play, uh, pretty much every game. Um, Dragon's Lair was notable because it was like the first uh, video game that was fifty cents to play. Uh, but um, at Pizza Keg, they used tokens instead of quarters, but all the prices were analogous, basically. So a game that would normally cost a quarter would cost one token. But I do not recall Pizza Keg ever, ever selling tokens for more expensive than eight for a dollar. Um, so basically 12 and a half cents for a play, right? Um, and uh, then they had specials all the time where it would be like, Oh, you know, now it's 10 for a dollar. Um, and the most I ever remember is on their 14th anniversary, they were selling tokens 14 for a dollar. So like they were just cheap as hell. Um, it was real cheap to play there. And then the, the other thing, um, yeah, dad, there, there was a pizza hut or not pizza hut. There was a showbiz um, there on Sagamore Parkway. It wasn't by the marsh, it was by the Kmart, I think. It was a little farther away. It was further out of, for, it was it was kind of at the end of that built up section of the bypass there, right? Um, the, the farthest section from, from our house um, before it kind of turned into nothing and then you would, you know, go down into the valley or whatever and on your way to, uh, to, to Lafayette. But, um, anyway, and yeah, Rhythm Bro, Pizza Keg, we're just talking about uh, an arcade that I, uh, an arcade pizza place that I used to go to as a kid back, God, this would have been 40 years ago now. <laughs> That's not even exaggerating. <laughs> Um, yeah, 11 seems kind of high, but again, the issue is what is a credit? Did Pizza Keg have DDR or Pump? Absolutely not. I just said it's 40 years ago. DDR is not that old. <laughs> DDR is now what? 24? <laughs> No, we're talking, like, ancient arcade history here. You know, before you were born. <laughs> A lot before you were born. You were hoping to buy snacks at the arcade, but you, you got kebab instead? <sighs> well, I feel like you came out a winner. I don't know what the snack bar is like um, at your arcade, but kebab sounds way better. <laughs> All right, I am going to credit I mean, of course you paid for all of them, Dad. I was a child. <laughs> I mean, thank you, <laughs> but still. <laughs> what am I doing? I forget who said this. Um, now, and you were probably joking, but let's do it anyway. Let's go. 
Why does this feel too fast? <laughs> oh, you know what? Did I set this to 3x by accident? Hold on. That's right. I put the speed code in instead of the full code, like an idiot. And then I'm like, this shouldn't be this hard. <laughs> That's okay. I started the wrong side anyway, so. Chicken, pizza, slices, cheese sticks, a few other things. Yeah, you definitely did better with kebab. Pump is five credits. Roughly $2 a set. Okay. I mean, that sounds reasonable-ish in 2022, now 2023. Like I said, when I paid that 250 per credit, um, that was in 2001. So that was a pretty expensive game of DDR. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gosh, are 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 dollars and euros almost in parity now? I'm always used to to euros being worth a, a decent amount more than uh than um than dollars so like two euro would be you know like a dollar something a dollar sixty or whatever right back to parody wow okay that's crazy yeah 6.8 so rhythm bro 6.8 sounds about like what I think um, DDR is at, at the Dave and Buster's near me, but I, I never, I honestly don't even look anymore. I just, usually I just buy some amount of, to, uh, some amount of chips when I go and I usually end up spending those for the next three or four visits. So I don't even really pay attention to what anything costs anymore. And I'm, and that's totally on purpose for them and for me. Uh, but uh, yeah, I don't know what 6.8 uh, chips works out to in dollars. Um, that's crazy that yours is almost doubled, though, if it's now up to 11.4. I guess it's not quite double, but it's that's a pretty s steep increase. Anyway. Let's try this again. See if I can operate this uh, correctly this time. There's what I. This is more what I was expecting.
actually a pretty difficult, what was that, a nine? Yeah. That seems underrated. Yeah, I knew you could do There's some real, <laughs> some real tough runs in there and some, some really crazy like reach steps. Have a safe drive home, Dad. Yeah, it definitely looks like an older chart. For sure. <laughs> really wants me to get just get up and dance. What was the other one? Get up and go in Fiesta. I was thinking that was an old, old song. But I guess it's not that old. Maybe I'll, when I hear it, I'll be like, oh yeah, this one. Got up and went. Goody. Looks like I get to pick another one. The quests are open, by the way. What was my opinion on that BGA? My opinion was. 
I was too busy trying to not die to really look at it. So, don't know. <laughs> I have no opinion. It doesn't have to be something in Prime 2, your request. It just has to be something that is... Well, okay. It doesn't have to be new to Prime 2. It just has to be something that's actually here. Think about what would be a good song to wrap up the stream with, considering that this will be the last pump stream, at least for a while. Should pump cabinets have a warning for epilepsy? Yeah, they probably should. Yeah, I knew you Especially the older ones, jeez. Wow, two record. What is on the warning screen? I know the warning screen is about like unauthorized duplication and hacking their network or whatever. Game over. One night, okay, so, yeah, the, this warning screen is just, don't, don't hack our network, don't hack our software, you'll get banned. Wow, there's not even a don't, you know, don't fall off warning. <laughs> Extreme play motions are dangerous. for this one. It's too bad One Night's Not In. It's a, that is a good song.
Gee, some of those jumps. <laughs> That was fun, but that's uh, that's really tricky stuff in there. Okay. So we're looking at. Where is people didn't know? Is it NX1 or is it later? There it is. NX1. Okay. I couldn't remember. Rhythm bro, you said BGAs are either most artistic and I think you mean aesthetic, not anesthetic. I, or at least I hope you don't mean anesthetic. <laughs> Although sometimes I call, I have pain and I could use some anesthetic, I suppose. Animation for or the weirdest seizure inducing animations. You don't forget or a K-pop video. <laughs> I always love, I can't, um, I, I can't think of what, of an example right off the top of my head, 
but it always gets me when um, when background animations will include things that either look like uh, scroll elements or scroll in the same direction as the scroll or worse yet both <laughs> and then you're like ah what am I looking at All tunes. World of PIU, Exunzo, Series, First, the Perfect Collection, Extra to Brex 3, First, the Perfect Collection, K-Pop, Still here. So I never learned this routine. <laughs> First, the Perfect Collection. I've had plenty of opportunity, but I never have. In fact, Let's just do the single. Man, it occurs to me, I either haven't played that chart or I haven't played it in a long time. <laughs> yeah, I knew you could do it. And I probably needed one more speed mod on that. <laughs> oh, you want this? It's party time! There you go. I think I started the stream with that, didn't I? Wait, is that a song? <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> I'm probably gonna finish with um that funky tonight chart was added back in zero. Maybe I haven't played it then. I mean, I probably have. I just it didn't feel familiar.
Yeah, I think I'll probably do Beethoven Virus as my last, last, last song, unless somebody has a better idea. It seems like kind of like the classic Pump It Up song, doesn't it? And yeah, Brythm Bro, if you want to ask for something else, go ahead. better ideas make me play something really stupid. I mean, you can make me play something really stupid before then, too. I think this is really stupid. Isn't this stupid? Nope. This is not what I was thinking it was. <laughs> the really stupid one was join the party. I don't think it's in there. Otherwise, I would totally do it. Yeah, Move that body would be a good finale. You're not wrong, honestly. They made a new chart for this in Prime 2 with Galps. Uh, feels like that was it. <laughs> okay. So we've got uh, Nemesis in uh, Prime. We've got... Uh, I, I don't, I think join the party's gone. I'll look for it, but I don't think it's there anymore. And online in Fiesta 2, okay. Yeah, join the party's gone. <laughs> well, I know why, I mean, it's the only reason to do that song, right? <laughs> And I totally would. It's just, unfortunately, I was pretty sure it was gone. All right, I'll take it off the list. Oh man, I was waiting for a uh, rhythm bro to ask for that song. I guess. I guess I can do it. I guess I can be bored. At least I'll watch the background animation. That's that much is cool at least. Series first, a perfect selection. 
There's a lot more slack in the cable because I pulled it out to move it for yesterday's stream. So that might be, I, I disturbed, I disturbed the delicate balance. Now I got mad. Why are we doing this one? Just because it's silly? If uh, this song got you, uh, got you copyright strike. I'm 
Karena benerannya cuma dua Yang satu email lama Yang satu forward dan yang sama Ntar komentar buka Friendster Loading gua tinggal beser Pas balik ngecek komputer Kok lagi maintenance server Ya udah download lagu Banyak yang gratis gak pake ragu Psycho J satu album Setengah jam bisa rampung Sore-sore bosen nambar Ini nakal cari-cari gambar Download video dengan sabar MySpace, yeah. I saw Friendster in there, too. <laughs> wow, you're awesome! Wow, new record! Product of its time. Nobody asked for this, but it's right here, so I'm just gonna play it. <laughs> Yeah, um, I can, Rhythm Bro. Give me one second, though. I'm going to take a real quick break. I'll be back in just a couple minutes.
right, I am back. And Rhythm Bro, what the heck does that have to do with anything? <laughs> hey, right, here come your songs anyway. Daniel, if you've got one more request, go ahead and throw it out there. We're getting down toward the end here.
Oh boy. Main camera again. Not sure why it's being fussy like that. Next stage. Original. Hey, Prince of Cats, uh, I did that song earlier already. Sorry about that. Cross Soul? Okay, Cross Soul we can do. What folder will that be in? I knew like Sorcerer's Elise is Fiesta 1, I think. But I couldn't remember where this one was. Oh, heck with it. Let's try it.
That did not seem bad for a 13. Honestly, that wasn't that bad at all. And then Creed First Desire, is that Prime or Prime 2? Canon D? Okay, we can do that. I thought I went by it a minute ago. But I may have been, uh... I may have been mistaken. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we got this and then uh, Chase Me in Prime 1. Okay, we got it. And then Canon D. Wow, that is a classic. The letter L. Very insightful post. <laughs> Oh, the letter was K. No, what? I'm confused. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait,
Losers. Yeah, I remember this song. Hey, Pichu. Yep, final Prime 2 stream. Final pump stream, actually, at least for a while. I'm gonna tear the setup down after this and we'll do something else. I haven't had to, uh, I haven't had to mute or blur anything yet in this entire series of pump streams, and I would have done that already on a previous stream, so I think we'll be okay, unless they change something, which, of course, always happens. And Pichu, the, we, we have crossed a year, but I haven't been doing this for, for over a year. Uh, I started pump uh, back in May of last year, so it's only been, it's been... It's been uh, seven months, coming up to coming up on eight. So um, it has been a long time, but it has not been a full year yet. But yeah, definitely been definitely been playing Pump a very long time on stream. And I will say too that <clears throat> having played all of this pump, uh, like I know I've said it a few times before that I prefer pump over DDR anyway, just like gameplay wise, I think it's more fun. Um, and, but this has really solidified it. I, I was at the arcade the other day and I went to play DDR and it was only okay. I mean, I didn't hate it. It's still fine. I like DDR just fine, but like it is not, it is not as fun for me as pump. So getting getting to play through basically the entire pump series and just seeing everything that it has to offer it just it has more to offer at least more to me anyway but that's uh that's uh that's where i'm at on that yeah I don't know. I like um, 
I'm probably more experienced at DDR than I am at Pump, just because I, I got a four or five year head start playing DDR, and, and that was definitely when I was playing the most as well. Uh, but I don't know, especially especially in these last few years, I definitely like Pump better than than DDR. Just the the musical selection in in DDR just doesn't do it for me anymore. Like the whole A series, I mean, there's some good stuff, but a lot less of it than that. At least in my opinion, and uh, there's just a lot of stuff that I don't really connect with. It's fine. Like I don't hate it, but I don't, I don't, I don't like it either. <laughs> it's just it's just there. Um, and Prince of Cats and Ahmad, uh, Double X is not going to get played. At least not yet. Uh, we're working on a way to get it to work on this monitor. That will probably happen, but I don't. I also don't have the game. Um, uh, I've been trying to work a way to uh, to get it. Um, I, I want to try if if we can get the the newer stuff, the HD games, to work on this monitor. I would like to get the new the new new game that comes out this year. But um, uh, but I don't see that, um, but I, I really don't want to pay full price for both of them because that's just going to get real, real expensive. So uh, I'm, I'm probably what's going to end up happening is I'll wait for the new game to come out, get that, and then pick up Double X um, as a used kit. Uh, so you can probably, maybe, you can maybe expect uh, pump to resume once the new game this year comes out. Uh, hopefully that happens. <laughs> hopefully that still happens. <clears throat> and hopefully we can get it to go technically as well. Um, and then Rhythm Bro, yeah, I'll try and pick up Pro 1 and 2 at that time as well if I can. Um, if we can get some kind of button board uh, pulled together. But, um, and, and Pichu, yeah, I, I'm with you on, um, Modern Pump and DDR games, like, I'm, I don't like, I, I don't love the music in, I don't, overall, I don't like, love the music in Pump and DDR, newer Pump and DDR, as much as I did older Pump and DDR. However, um, I do like K-pop, and Pump has a shitload of K-pop, so that kind of pads out uh, music that I like in Pump more uh, than DDR. Um, and then all of the rest of the songs, I think uh, for me, uh, I especially because I made the effort to like play through everything in um, in in uh, in Pump. Uh, there were a lot of there were a lot of songs that I really enjoyed um, that I probably wouldn't have played otherwise in Pump. Uh, but then, regardless, like, the step charts are more are more fun for me. So even if the song is only okay, I'm probably having a better time playing it than DDR. Uh, that's just my personal preference. And Rhythm Bro, probably not. I don't have any reason to do a Step Mania stream. I don't really play Step Mania, not particularly interested in it. So. Yeah. Step Mania stream is a bit <laughs> grayscale. Yeah, I just don't... I, I, I don't know. There's there's not really much of a um, there's not really much of a uh, incent. There's no real interest there for me because it's either duplicating the it's either duplicating the actual games, which I probably have. So eh, um, or it's you know a bunch of uh, you know just crazy weird custom charts. But most of those, in my experience, have all been things that are way more difficult than I want to play. So, like, 
there's there's no real appeal there to me unless somebody really sat down and curated a really good list of like these are f song fun songs that you ought to try Brian um, but uh, to be honest there there are very few people that I would trust to do that for me <laughs> so I I just don't see myself playing Step Mania on stream uh, given that I don't even play Step Mania normally. Um, and yeah, Rhythm Bro, I know you love anime and you hate K-pop, but I'm... I wouldn't say I'm the opposite. I don't hate anime, but I don't care about it that much. Um, and I like K-pop just fine. I don't know that I love K-pop, um, but I, I like it. I like, uh, I like K-pop more than I like J-pop, I'll tell you that much. But, um, uh, but I like J-pop just fine too, so, but mostly I just find a lot of, uh, I, I find a lot of, mo I mean, a lot of modern DDR and Pump are both kind of boring to me, but there is a lot more in Pump overall that I find appealing compared to DDR, so that's, that's where I'm at. Yeah. I, I guess the, the reason I would be leery of having somebody curate um, uh, curate um, songs for me is just I'm not even like I there there's a bunch of songs that I there there's certain styles and things that I really enjoy um, playing and then there's certain things that I just don't like playing uh, and Obviously, like, the more difficult stuff, I just don't really care for. And uh, there's certain patterns that are really fun and really satisfying to me. Um, so I would need somebody that really understood how, you know, what it is that I like about Pump, or DDR for that matter, to, to put together a list of songs that, that, um, that I would like. I'm not even sure that I would be able to do it. Um, I'm pretty bad about remembering which ones. Um, Rhythm Bro, again, it's not funnier the more times you say it. That's literally like the sixth time. <laughs> but, um, uh, but, um, yeah. I'm, I'm just, uh, gonna, I don't know. I'll leave it at that. I prefer pump. I prefer pump to DDR, and playing seven months of pump is um, has has only solidified that uh, for sure. Yes, Pichu, you're right. I am more into freestyle, and I'm more into doubles. Um, technical doesn't necessarily uh, like technical can be fun. It's the stamina busters that, that get to be too much for me. Um, and, and I like singles just fine, but... Uh, but it, it's, it's one of those that... Um, when, I'm in, when I'm in the middle of a, of a chart, I'm like, oh yeah, this is really fun, but I'm really bad. I, like, I don't take notes, and I... Um, Rhythm bro, literally, just just stop. Cut it out. Um, <laughs> um and um, what was I saying? Probably not enough variety. Maybe just start charting. Yeah, <laughs> but um, I just don't. I I I don't uh, I don't take really good notes, and um, and I don't. Uh, um, and I don't uh, really uh, remember. I mean, there's probably maybe a dozen songs that I can think of off the top of my uh, off the top of my head 
in either DDR or Pump that I really like, but I'm sure that there's like three dozen songs on both that I would, once I got into them, I'd be like, oh yeah, this one, this is great, but I wouldn't remember it if you just asked me. But anyway, um, I know we've got, uh, we've got just about 10 minutes left, a little less than 10 minutes, honestly. So I think we are ready for, this will be the final set. I think, what are we going to do? We're going to do uh, Beethoven Virus, uh, Canon D, and uh, Move That Body. It seems like a good way to, uh, seems uh, seems like a good uh, way to round it out, round out the, uh, the Pump Series. Three very, very classic uh, Pump It Up songs. Well, definitely two very classic Pump songs and then a song about Pump, right? <laughs> so, can't, can't beat that. But uh, yeah, let's, let's get it started. Yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> I should have known better. Oh, we'll just do the the classic one with the spins. The lights on the marquee. I mean, the top top lights or the marquee itself. Yeah, no, they definitely flash. They might have been flashing at a rate that was fast enough. That was faster than the decay of the of the lights. Since those are old, like halogen bulbs, they take a while. Like, they don't turn off instantly like LEDs. So they may have been flashing fast enough that they didn't seem like they were going out. I wasn't really paying attention, though.
I definitely looked straight at them just now, and I <laughs> was blinded temporarily.
A million references, for sure. Yeah, I, knew you could do it. I forget who suggested that one, but that was a very good. That was a very good suggestion for last song. <coughs> All right, I. Uh, I think that's it. We did it. Well, I mean, we did it last time, but we did it. Did it? <laughs> was it you? Well, good job. But um, uh, thanks for uh, joining me for the last six or seven months of uh, <laughs> seven or eight months of, of pump streams. It's been fun getting through all of them. And uh, uh, we will, uh, I'll be back. Um, I'll probably be doing some like, um, <clears throat> I'll probably be doing some other uh, gaming or streaming or gaming or singing streams or something like that with, uh, with Belinda probably tomorrow night and um, uh, through the weekend. Um, and then we'll be back soon with UBeat. I might stick something else in between um, as a one-off. We're still working on trying to get uh, UBeat, OG UBeat running. Um, so um, kind of in a little bit of a holding pattern for that. Uh, but um, uh, hopefully that'll be ready to go soon and then we can start in on UBeat. Um, and uh, gosh, I don't know how long that's going to take. I, I have no intention of trying to play everything in UBeat though, so hopefully it won't take uh, <laughs> another seven or eight months, right? But um, yeah, some, uh, some potpourri uh, variety uh, potluck stuff for the next few days. Uh, or week or so, uh, then we'll get into uh, we'll get into UBeat, and uh, we'll go from there. Um, and then hopefully we'll come we'll come back and pick up Double X, uh, whatever the 2023 game is called, um, and Pro One and Two uh, maybe later on this year. Uh, yeah, yeah, Genius Girl, you you missed it. We it'd just be um, I I don't have Double X and I don't have a way to play it on this cabinet yet. So, if we get that straightened out, um, I would love to play it. It just, it'll just take, it's just going to take a little bit more time and I'm, I'm ready to move on. So, uh, I wasn't, I wasn't anticipating being able to play Double X with the start of this anyway. So, I'm, I'm okay to uh, leave for now and come back later. But, um, uh, hopefully we'll be able to do that. But, until then... Uh, like I said, thanks as always. I hope you had a good time. I certainly did. Uh, it's been real fun playing uh, 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 playing through all of the uh, <laughs> playing through all of the pump games. So uh, a lot of a lot of great memories there, and um, a lot of um, and, and made a lot of new ones. So anyway. Uh, until next time, have a great weekend, and uh, hope you have a happy new year, and I will see you all uh, in the next one. Bye, 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 bye.